yo, yo, yo. It's here, bruh. It's here. July 20th. The computer's outside, bruh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In there oh yeah there it go what's up man you don't care if i vlog this real quick do you all you know, the little accessories yo is here i ready to crack it open i waited 30 long hard long days for my custom pc from your boys over at digital storm out on the uh, west coast look man i'm telling you right now if y'all need a custom built pc the process was extremely easy the hardest thing was that anxiety you get from the moment you actually place the order, all seven emails when they're updating you through the order, and then the day is supposed to be delivered. I'm ready to get this bad boy open, you feel me? I know y'all over there on live watching me. Y'all said y'all wanted to see it, so this, this is how I do it. This is me in my natural habitat right now. Unboxing video, digital storm, let's go, all right? Woo! We get the first little, little piece of tape. Oh, oh, oh man, it felt so good. Oh, that felt good. Woo! Oh man, you open it up. First off, I love the way it's packaged. Open it up and you're greeted by this beautiful, beautiful, look at that, digital storm. You're greeted by this digital storm. Uh-oh, this right here, I know what he is. Y'all know you can't buy a custom PC without LED lights, come on. It's lit up. I'm talking about lights everywhere. Press a button and let it shine. You feel me? You feel me? Woo! I'm deep. We're going to put him back in the package though so we don't lose him. Samsung. A 500 gig Samsung solid state hard drive um, that I put all the software on. Uh, the Adobe and then the, uh, the boot up um, programs as well. It's time to get to the bread and butter, baby. It's time for the main deal. Here we go, baby. <sighs> Uh, let me see if I can get this. Y'all know I ain't lived in a while and I ain't trying to get, you know what? I'm gonna do it the smart way. Same way I've been watching other people do it. Flip this bad boy over. There we go, get it back in here. Oh yeah. So far so good, I don't hear nothing. Oh, baby. Here we go. Woo! Here we go. Let's flip them on over. Get them upright. Oh, man. Let me adjust the cameras, because this this going to be this gonna be sexy. I'm, I'm going to adjust the cameras, y'all. So hold on one second. Hold on one second. I can already tell. I can already tell that there's nothing broken on it right now. So, oh, yeah, baby. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Oh, baby, this bad boy. Come to Papa, baby. Oh yeah, oh it's about 50 something pounds, dang. Ooh, that nasty, hold on. Here we go. Whoa. Oh man, she's sexy. Oh yeah, she, she's sexy, y'all. God dang. Babe! Babe! Babe, this bad boy is sexy. Oh, man. What? All right, I'm gonna tell you right now, ain't nothing better than this filler right here. Ain't nothing better than this filler right here. What's up, y'all? It's been about two days since I got my computer in the mail. I've got it all set up. Um, I ran through some extensive editing. I mean, I'm talking about 4K layered with some Lumetri uh, color grading. I'm talking about all kind of fancy transitions, some editing packs. I mean, I did the most. It is butter. I'm telling you, it processes this stuff like butter. I have never been so impressed. I mean, honestly, anybody that's into video editing or photography, when you get a new computer, you're excited. But when you get a new computer that handles what you do daily extremely well, I don't even know what that what that could relate to in the normal world. Let me tell y'all a little bit what I got. I did go with uh, the Intel i7-7820X processor. Um, it's eight cores. Um, they did uh, have a free promotion on Digital Storm where they were uh, overclocking for you with instability, basically. Um, and so they did overclock it up to four and a half gigahertz. I'm really excited about that because it does kind of give me a little bit of a boost 
I did go with 16 gigs of RAM for right now. I do plan to upgrade that to 32 gigs. My graphics card, I did go with the GTX, the NVIDIA GTX 1060, uh, 6 gig. It, I mean, that's the same processor that was in my laptop. Uh, by the way, my laptop I used to have was a MSI GS63 VR Stealth Pro. Uh, very, very solid uh, uh, laptop. If y'all want the mobile editing and, you know, have the... The, the freedom to do things on the go. It was definitely the reason I initially bought it. But now that I'm actually doing more video editing and I'm doing more, um, I need more processing power, um, I decided to, instead of invest in another laptop, invest in something that I could actually upgrade over time. Just so you guys know, in a couple days I will do, or maybe not a couple days, but soon I will do a, a review. You can kind of see my studio set up here. Uh, mainly doing a, a review of my studio setup and all the little gadgets and gadgets that I got going into it um, that makes my workflow uh, a little bit more productive. Uh, so y'all please stay tuned, rock with me. I appreciate y'all watching this video and my soft light just cut off on me. So um, I guess y'all know what that means. Your boy's out. <laughs>